And we begin tonight with breaking news from the Navy. They are calling for a safety pause for all non-deployed aviation units. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. And I'm Kirsten Holmes. The Navy made the announcement tonight after two crashes this week, including one that killed five Marines near Camp Pendleton. A former Navy pilot says he's not surprised by this move and explains how a safety pause works. The Navy is calling it a safety pause a one day training this Monday for all non deployed aviation units to review their practices and work on training. The decision comes on the heels of two military crashes in two days involving crews from our county. Being safe day to day is is so important. Jim Kidrick was a Navy pilot for 21 years. He's now CEO of the San Diego Air and Space Museum. It's not uncommon for um, the services to take a really, really good look at themselves on occasion. Kidrick agrees with the move, saying this is the right time to review things that are so important to safety. Complacency is, uh, uh, you know, can sometimes creep in on any unit and they don't really know it. The first tragedy happened Wednesday. A Marine Corps Osprey crashed near Glamis, killing five Camp Pendleton based Marines. Then the very next day, a helicopter from Naval Air Station North Island crashed near Yuma. Luckily, all four crew members survived. Uh, it's not uncommon, as you know, for someone to say routine flight operations uh, in aviation. Well, I can tell you that routine flight operations are not really routine. They're very dangerous. Everyone around the planes, from maintenance to aviators, will undergo review and training. The Navy says deployed units will conduct their safety pause at the earliest possible opportunity. This is a high performance world uh, and, um, and we've got to be prepared to operate in a high performance manner.